Welcome back to another episode of Who the F***. It's the show that aims to take a deep dive into some of our acts and that's Reading and Leeds 2019. In today's video we're looking at Malik Berry. He's a kind of uh, Afrobeat artist from South London. If you've never heard of him before, hopefully this video will help answer the question, who the f*** is Malik Berry? Malik Shoibi also known as Malik Berry, is from South London in the United Kingdom. Genre-wise, he's described as Afro-pop, hip-hop, Afro-beat, R&B, and pop. He has a sound that reminds me of people like Mr. Easy, Zagadat, Fuse ODG, and a vocal style that actually reminds me a little bit of Akon. I know that's not what he's trying to achieve, it's just their voice sounds similar. He has a university degree in computer science, but decided that he wanted to pursue a career in the music industry and gave that one up. He released his first single in 2013, entitled The Matter. If you cross my lane, no, you're back to the matter. Open and close, touch your toes, baby, oh, yeah, yo. Which, along with the following four singles of his, was a collaboration with Wizkid. Wizkid famously featured on the song One Dance, featuring Drake and Kyla. Grips on your ways, front way, back way, you know that I don't play. To date, he's yet to release a full studio album, but has released an abundance of singles and featured on a plethora of artists, other artists' music, including Wizkid, DeVito, Wale, Fuse ODG, Run Town, and Lyanya. But he's playing a relatively high slot on this year's festival, so one would assume he'll have at least an EP or a mixtape or an album out in the time for August. In 2017, he was nominated in the Best Male category at the Mobile Awards, making him somewhat of a household name in Nigeria. And he's currently signed to WizKid's Starboy Entertainment and runs his own record label, Berry's Room. His most popular record is a song called Control. It currently sounds 65 million plays on YouTube. This will be his first time playing Reading and Leeds, taking to the one extra stage on the Saturday at Reading and the Sunday at Leeds, playing in between St. John and D Block Europe. See previous videos for those artists. This is going to be a really short video. I can't seem to find much more information than what I've just relayed to you. I've listened to a couple of interviews, I've read his Wikipedia page, there's not a lot more out there. Musically, I can't really find myself wanting to go deep into his sound. Not really a big fan of Afrobeat or any of uh, any of the kind of other categories that he falls into. Although I do really appreciate through looking th through his photos that he's a fan of the color yellow. I think we know why. But I don't see me dragging myself and my little, little brother over to the one extra stage to check out his set. So on the lightly to see scale, I'm gonna go with a one out of 10. What do you think? Have you seen Malik Berry play before? Are you excited to see him at this year's festival? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.